five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, this is the Ramble. I am Alex. This is the most infected city in the world. And we go until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. Look at that face. It's it's Stephen Pearl. Hello, everybody. Good to, good to be here. Good to see you. Hello, <laughs> Hooray, hurrah. It's Winslow Mahoney time. It's Winslow Mahoney time. It's time for fun. I want to just say that uh, the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is the biggest piece of shit I have ever seen. Don't see it. Why no why, why, do, why do you say that? Because I didn't I, I didn't like it when I when I first saw it. I didn't. Wait, hold on a second. When I first saw it, I didn't like it. And then I, like I watched it. it a second time, and I loved it. Okay. Well, I don't know if I want to see it a second time, but it did nothing for me. The ending was total bullshit. The ending is the way it should have gone down. I wish it did, but it didn't. So yeah. I don't know what it was well, all Well, so. yeah, but you got to realize that Quentin Tarantino has always changed history. In uh, Glorious Bastards, Hitler gets killed. Yeah. Yeah, you know. movie theaters. <laughs> so, I mean, he ends his movies the way he would have liked to have seen life end. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but it was still a piece of shit. I didn't like it. That well, I I, uh, I didn't like Twilight it when I first it. saw it. Uh, there was something about it that didn't ring true, you uh, know? And yeah, then, a lot. <laughs> and then when I saw it the second time, I saw what he was trying to do with the picture. Yeah. Uh-huh. He, he, was, he, he was setting up a myth about Hollywood. Uh-huh. Okay, so it was Hollywood is a myth. It was bullshit. It was, it was well, Hollywood. of course, it's a big myth. It's a big, yeah, fucking myth. myth. See that little bastard with his squinty eyes and his pointy little chin? I'm gonna give him what for, boy. I just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll see. Well, when did you see it? Just, just uh, to my friend Linda's house. We watched it on Netflix, and it was this, okay. We haven't seen this. Let's see this. And we watch it. it was, this is sucks. This sucks. It was two hours and forty minutes of long bullshit. It could have been like 20 minutes, and you know, you could have said the whole thing in 20 minutes, and it still would have been a piece of shit, but it would have been over that much quicker. Well, do you like Tarantino generally? Sometimes, you know, I like Pulp Fiction. That was okay, but I did have to see that more than once to really get it. So, uh, yeah. But I just, I just didn't like this movie. It did rub me the wrong way. So there you go. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, I mean, I, 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 I see why you may have had your questions about it because the first time I saw it, I did too. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know why he made the ending that way, which didn't happen. Now and, you, you know. not, having that prejudice, you might go back and revisit it and see uh, if it changes to you. I might. I might someday. Because someday. I think that when you first go into that film, you go into it with a great deal of expectations about what it's supposed to be. Yeah. And uh, first of all, it's mythologizing Hollywood at that time. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And it is uh, take turning changing into a myth. Charlie Manson, yeah, you know, and it, it so none of it is true. None of it ever yeah. happened that way. No, no, but not. he would like to think maybe it did, you know. Yeah. So. Well, if it was really you want to make it, they should have had like Charles Manson die at birth and Tex Watson die at birth, and uh, you know Squeaky from his mother like in their eighth month get killed in a head-on collision. And, yeah, yeah. See what happened. That's yeah. the way I. I would have gone way back and let's let's tell it the way it should have happened. But he did, you know. I, I you know, I, I do like his storytelling. I, I, there's something about it that I, I like. Yeah, they still smack him around with a freaking slide rule. You know, keep low level. You wanna you you wanna pimp slap him? Huh? I will take him in a back room and you know, work on it with a pipe. You know. So how's everything in the wonderful world of Las Vegas? Las Vegas, uh, nothing going on. It's hot, hot, hot. It's on its way to being 107 degrees. I have the air conditioner on. I'm still sweating. I don't want to say it's hot, but the tongues in the window of the deli are going water, water. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Now, t- tell me this. Tell me this. Uh, is it? Uh, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. See, hey. I'm out of it today. I'm so out of it. The last couple of days, I've got to get out of this house. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've oh, yeah, got to get out of here. I have been yeah. stuck in here for 75 days with only a short trip out about wow. twice. Uh-huh. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm lightheaded all the time, uh, and uh, 
uh, you know what I forgot to do? I because you you let me just yell something to Marjorie, okay? This is this is uh, we're, we're still recording. <laughs> Marjorie, take my sausage off the uh, stove. It's still cooking. Hey, hey, Grandpa forgot his stove sausage. See what happened was, folks, is we started this interview early, and I forgot uh, that I had something cooking. There you go. You'll be spoiling over, Ma. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, so I'm I'm like uh, I'm like loopy. I'm like dizzy all the time, and then we have a, a, a allergy season is on in full force, and I'm like you know breathing heavy, but it has nothing to do with the COVID. It's it, not I don't, I'm not running a temperature. I'm yeah. not coughing. But there's other things that will mess you, you up. You know, I'll breathing is heavy. Terrible. I know. I used to get when I was a kid. I had asthma in the worst way, so my parents moved me to the country uh. <laughs> because they were told by an allergist the best way to get them over these allergies is to move to the country. And Our so, for, for like they had these things in Marin County called acacia trees, uh. and they would come into bloom, and so <laughs> would I. You know, you, could, you every kid in the neighborhood knew I was coming. They could hear me wheezing, <laughs> you know. And so I had that. And then it went away because yeah. I had had so inundated myself with it. But I guess it was against acacia trees. But I come to New York, and especially as I've gotten older, I just the allergies just, I mean, my eyes are burning and my uh, uh, having a little heavy heaviness of breathing and so oh, on. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting mad, and I got AFib on top of that, so... You, know, you have right. AFib? Do you really? Oh, yeah, it's not oh, fun. You know? I'm glad to hear that you're not perfect now, either. Oh, AFib is fun. Shortness of breath, having to pee every two seconds, getting dizzy. Oh, oh really? It maybe, it's going to hit. Maybe I have AFib. I don't oh, know. I'll have to check into that. When this, when yeah, I'm going to get it taken care of when this virus thing. It's like an overnight hospital thing, but right now I'm not going to any hospital where there were sick people and that virus is going. Oh, I have to. I have to have a follow up to my prostate seed thing with a CT scan and a blood draw, and uh -huh. I've. I was supposed to do it a month afterwards, and now it's three months afterwards, and I haven't done it yet because uh -oh. I told them, "Ain't no way I'm going over to Mount Sinai." Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not going. Uh, I'm not going to that petri dish. I've know. canceled all my routine doctor appointments until this uh, whole bullshit is over. Well, you know what happens with routine doctor appointments? Like Marjorie, my wife, uh, she gets a, a shot in her spine every six months right. or something to keep pain from happening in her yeah. spine. So she has to have it, and she's going to go get it. But she has to go get a COVID test first before the the work on her. Yeah. Because they want to make sure she doesn't have COVID. And now I'm watching the news today and it says, by the way, the COVID test may not be accurate. So <laughs> so everybody's operating on these false assumptions, you know? I'm and it's sure. it's really amazing. It's yeah, just amazing. It may work, it may not. We'll find out. Huh? It, will, it may work, it may not. We'll find out. That's right. That's Basically right. This. Oh, yeah. We're all, uh, we're all on the Petri dish. We're all experimenting. Oh, yeah. I mean, they've had all these, these, these ideas about what's right, what's wrong, what works, what doesn't work. And I'm going, nobody knows anything. Nobody knows anything. That's nobody <laughs> knows anything. All they know is people are dying at an yep. unprecedented rate. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's amazing. I and mean, when we're recording this, uh, which will, I guess, go on tonight, I guess. Uh, uh, we're approaching the 100,000 mark in deaths. Whoa. Wow, the debt stock. Doesn't... Now, I don't know what's going to happen first today. The death rate goes over 100,000 or the rocket that's going up blows up. I don't oh. know which is, <laughs> yeah, is yeah, going to happen first. Super rocket blowing Man, up. Yeah. I'm telling you, if I were one of those two astronauts, I'd go, no way I'm going up in that rinky-dink. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it's the toy version of a rocket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. A little rocket. Rocketeer. It'll probably work okay. I, I would imagine by the time this bro is broadcast, they we will either have blown up or <laughs> yeah. it will have been uh, well on its way to the uh, space station. There you go. Uh, but uh, Godspeed, astronauts. We are living in really crappy times, aren't we? Yeah. The end of days. It could be well, I mean, this is the this is basically the end of my life. Uh, the poodles will take over. It, it, yeah, uh, this is getting to be the end of my life. I mean, you know, I mean, who knows? I may live another ten years, but yep. 
you know, at 80, I, I'm counting every day uh, above room temperature is a good day. Yeah, you and <laughs> and uh, I don't know what's going to happen to this country. It's just insane. <laughs> I mean, did you see all those people in the Ozarks in that swimming pool? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go out now. The germs are done. <laughs> The only good news about it is they're all going to die, and they're all Trump voters. Yeah. <laughs> they're all inbred anyway. So maybe I think have... Trump hasn't taken in that into account yet, that by having such a cavalier notion towards this whole coronavirus thing, and by not wearing a mask, and by setting an example that is not a good example, that he's sending his voters to an early death. <laughs> When we say it's November, it'll be huge, huge. I tell you. Yeah, the, oh, it, 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 yeah. It was. It, it, you're do, it sounds like you're doing uh, Reagan. <laughs> oh, you're gonna vote for me, see? It's like <laughs> Trump. Trump was like, "All you do, James Cagney, you tighten up your ass and you do it this way." And like, oh you know, man, oh, oh man, what a what a president, huh? He's I just, miss Nixon. Huh? <laughs> I miss Nixon. Well, I, you know, my old joke has been that, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess uh, Bush isn't looking that bad to us. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, Reagan isn't looking that bad. Oh, God. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Nixon isn't looking that bad. <laughs> Come to think of it, neither is Hitler. Yeah. Well, Hitler. Right before Hitler. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so, uh, how, so you haven't been able to do your comedy. No, I've, I've been doing a lot of Zoom interviews, but I'm not going to do any Zoom shows because I like to have an audience in front of me. And uh, now I've just been sitting in the house with the air conditioner on, the baby, little kittens. Like, yeah, the yeah. What, what other Zoom? In, we're doing Zoom with you because it yeah. is the, it is, it is uh, the easiest way for somebody like you to get online. If I uh, had you do Skype, it would be a little more confusing to you. Oh, this is boom requested. Usually it works. So once oh, you were here early. I thought I was going to be sitting around, you know, jerking off, waiting for you to yeah. come, you know. Watching TV as I saw this Donna Reed show already. I think it's a rerun. So I, you know, I thought I'd go on Zoom early. So well, you know what I just got? I just got uh, HBO Max. Uh-huh. Uh, and they've got, once I started digging into it, they got a lot of stuff. Uh-huh. You know. A lot of War- old Warner Brothers cartoons. Oh yeah, sure. and some new ones they've done. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And they've got uh, let's see, every season of Doctor Who, <laughs> right? Okay. And uh, it, it, it really pretty pretty good all the way around. Not not bad. A little too much stuff, but not enough stuff of the yeah. stuff. You know. In other words, oh. they have Warner Brothers cartoons. But if they said we have every Warner Brothers cartoon here, <laughs> I'm up for it. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it's a selection of Warner Brothers cartoons. Uh, they got everything, and it's their selection. You know, everything and then some. It's amazing. Yeah. So, anyway, so I uh, uh, other, other than that, you know, outside of being uh, uh, short, of, a little slightly short of breath and and whatever, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. And you're holding up. You're still alive and well, as they say. Yeah. Still, you know, they haven't buried me yet. So are they just, are they going to be opening the casinos anytime soon? I don't know. I have idea they, they're, they're talking about opening one or two of them and that's still going to be like safe distancing and they're going to boil those slots and everything after you use it each time and i don't know i don't know what's going to happen so hopefully soon because i want to get out there i'm going nuts i think I anything know. anything short of a uh, vaccination or a, a vaccine or or some cures okay where if you go into the yeah. hospital you got it they give you the pill and you're better yeah. outside of that this thing ain't over for a long time. Oh, no, and they say there's going to be a second wave. Ain't that great? So uh, They say yeah. it's not going to be a second wave now. They say it's going to be the same wave, but just uh-huh. revisited because all these people oh, are God. jumping into swimming no, no, pools in the Ozarks. Uh-huh. You know, in the Ozarks. So. Yeah, oh, God. Right. They let the blue skins do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, but I, I feel sorry for you because, you know, you do comedy and you like yeah. to do your trade and you can't yep. do it. There's no place do to do it. Can't do it. No um, one else can either. So at least I'm not going crazy by myself, but I am. So, you know, it's our own private. I mean, do you, do you find yourself writing a joke and then saying, what the fuck am I doing this for? Yeah, exactly. I go, you know, nah, I'll, when, I, when I get back on stage, I'll write new stuff. So, you know. Do you write stuff down? 
occasionally, but I always lose it. So, you know, it, it doesn't help. I got to go on stage like five or six times, the sixth time I remember it, and then I, it stays with me. But, I mean, if you come up with an idea, like you're sitting there, you come up with an idea, do you write it down? Occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. Occasionally. Hey, it looks like we're running out of time here. Holy crap. Yep. Once again, my how the time flies when you're having... Time flies when you're infected. Let me tell you something. When you're infected. Yeah. <laughs> Get together next week? I'm with you, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Stephen Pearl. Thank you. See you later. many times we're gonna more we're gonna play that but uh you know what why not why not hello everybody how are you this is the ramble i am alex bennett let me turn up my mic a little bit let me turn up my earphones a little bit uh, am i too much in the are we there okay anyway uh i'm not feeling that well tonight i don't know why my temperature's up a little bit i'm at 96.6 and occasionally, I have this thermometer, and it keeps changing. At one point, it went to 99.1. And then it goes back down to 96, 94, uh, uh, 96.6, 96.4, 96.1. You know, back and forth. So, <clears throat> But I don't have a cough. I can breathe very nicely, thank you. I just have this. I think it's allergies. It's and I read that you can actually get a temperature with allergies. So anyway, so you know the hypochondriac that I am, I take my temperature like twenty times. I think I took it twenty times tonight. I have thermometers right over here. I might even take my temperature during the show. What the hell? Why not? Uh, what's happening in the world? Uh, it's not very good, folks. It's not very very good. Let's take a look at the, um, oh, well, that's, that's not working. Okay, so then I'll hit go here. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, uh, in the world uh, 5,690,951 cases totally confirmed of COVID, okay? Total global deaths, 355,612. Now let's take a look at the United States, okay? This is getting terrible. Uh, we are up at 1,699,000. We're almost at, at 1,700,000. Okay, we're just short of that. All right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just trying to keep my throat. You know what I should do? Drink this. See, I, I drink this. It's hot. It's coffee. And then I, 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 I uh, oh, you can't see it, right? Because I'm not... Um, I'm not, I'm not showing it. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where are we? Oh, I can't even do things tonight. Well, let's see. The coffee. All right. Back to the map. Uh, so anyway, coffee. And uh, then I take my temperature, and then it's 100, and, you know, 199.5 or something. And then, of course, if I wait a little bit, it goes down because I've been drinking the coffee. Anyway, here in the U.S., uh, we have hit that uh, 100,000. In fact, we're going we're 100,418, going towards 101,000. I don't know what uh, number uh, Trump is shooting for, but I think we're <clears throat> certainly in that uh, territory. 
Let me see here. Um, then uh, w what happens is we've got uh, Brazil. Now, Brazil is really a hot spot now. Look at that, 411,000. They're shooting way past Russia, uh, who is uh, down in th third place. Uh, but they have 25,598 deaths, and they say they're two weeks away from their peak. So, you know, they may make us jealous. They may surpass us. Um, Russia, they've only got 3,968 3, deaths out of 370,680. So that's about what? Is, is that somewhere in about 1% maybe? Am I, am I right about that? 10%? Oh, wait a minute. I think that's uh, that's like one percent of the uh, of the uh, confirmed are dead. So anyway, uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I you know, and, and, and to show that any more of this to you would be increasingly depressing. Okay, so let me uh, bring this back here. There we go, and here I am. Okay, let me do a few things up here. I really didn't feel like doing a show tonight, and uh, I, uh, uh, I kind of uh, felt uh, like I just wasn't even going to do it. And then I decided, well, I'll do it. What the hell, you know? Uh, but it's 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 kind of hot in here and stuffy, and I feel like I've got something going, and I don't know what it is, you know. But it isn't it isn't the COVID because I don't have I I can breathe okay. <laughs> And I can, uh, and I don't have a cough, but I have uh, a horse, and that is, I think, from the uh, the uh, 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 pollen, which was incredible again today. It was uh, uh, high or medium high, uh, getting on high. And uh, wait, wait a minute, let me see. What did they say it was going to be? Uh, do I have it here? Here's the here was the pollen count for today: um, 8.2, medium high. That's out of a, to yeah, that's not bad. That it's, it pr wasn't terrible. Tomorrow, though, it's going to go down to medium. So we're hopefully we'll get some kind of relief from this, uh, this whole thing. And we'll be in, in much better shape. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, when I see my temperature go up a little bit and I, I'm not feeling well, I, I think it's the COVID. And it's probably not. It is probably... It is probably fatigue from being indoors for all this time. Now, I'm going to attempt to do a show tonight, uh, although I don't feel that well to do it, but I'm going to do it and because I'm a trooper, and I'm going to open up the, uh, the Skype lines, and maybe I'll just let everybody else talk tonight because my – listen to me. I'm hoarse. <laughs> let me see here. Come on, folks. The Skype – takes forever. You know, uh, I wish I were able to use Zoom, and I can, but it's just not going to be the same show. We won't have all the, well, I could do the openings and closings. Uh, I actually have a Zoom panel set up so that if I wanted to do Zoom, uh, I could do it, uh, but uh, I would have to do it. Let me see if I can, if I can just show you. If I were to take Zoom and open it up here, let me just show you. Oh, well, uh, well Brian Neary's calling, so we just better go to that. I'll, I'll show you later, folks, uh, what that's all about. Brian, you look like you're in jail because you've got all this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, man. Mm. Let me see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, there's Brian. He was in the first place last night, so he got his first spot tonight. How you doing, Brian? Better than you. Yeah, I don't know what I got. You know, it's it doesn't sound like COVID to you, does it? No, no. Uh, Allergies have been really bothering everybody around here too. Can it can it cause you to raise a slight raise in temperature too? I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is that we've been going outside and kids have been sneezing and eyes watering really bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute, Phil. I can't get Phil. Oh, there we go. Did I get Phil? Did I get him? I, let me see here. Did I get Phil? There we got Phil, and I'm try, trying to get Charlie. Oh, I'm having some problems with this tonight. Okay, there. I think we're 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 in. Here are the same three that I think we had last night. Believe it or yep. not. Yep. There they are, folks. There's our there's our traditional panel. Okay. So anyway, you're saying you don't think I got the COVID, huh? 
No. <laughs> you know, I've got sniffles. I've got, I've got, I don't have a cough. Uh, I don't, I might have a little chest congestion, but not, mm -hmm. uh, not heavy chest. It's not hard for me to breathe. So that's mm -hmm. not COVID, right? No. And I remember your eyes were watering so bad last week. Too. My my eyes are watering tonight. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. 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 So uh, let me see here. Oh, we got the look. Everybody took the same place as they had last night. Right. If you did that every night, my life would be easy. So you don't you don't think I'm getting the COVID? I shouldn't run over to the hospital. No touch of the COVID. You, I think you can also. I read somewhere that you can get a slight elevated temperature with uh, with uh, pollen with the uh, allergies. I, I just, it's just been terrible. It's just been horrible. Marjorie. you take medication? Any medicine for it? Yeah, well, I try this stuff. Where is it? I try this stuff. The but, wife takes the, the Zoltec D, D, you know, with the D? Oh yeah, but you know what? I, I would do those, but I can't because uh, I got the prostate thing. Uh, and it, they say, don't take those things if you've got prostate issues. Because it does something to the prostate or whatever. So, uh, but um, but this stuff doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I try it. Look, I'll show you. Uh, there we go. Done. Yeah, but I think all that other stuff in your nose is killing that from your days way back. <laughs> I don't know. But... Uh, uh, Bad. Huh? <laughs> Alex was not that bad with the vitamin C. Robin Williams, now he was bad. <laughs> well, but, I did my share. Yeah, I, I you know, I know. Uh, and, and, you know, there was lots of people, when you would have those things, we went up to Tahoe and you had some, uh, some deal in Tahoe. Maybe it was Bobby Slayton's deal and we were up there. But there was... Uh, uh, some guy and he he brought up a shitload of uh, vitamin C and uh, put it out for uh, everyone. I don't. In your I room. don't. I don't remember that. Yeah, we well, remember I, I, anything. I, I, well, obviously <laughs> it was really good Coke because I don't remember it. <laughs> it's plentiful. <laughs> yeah, but um, now I um, did I ever tell you how I quit Coke? Probably the way you quit smoking. I, I, I moved to Florida. Yeah. It was now, moving to Miami and quitting Coke just don't sound like they work together, does it? <laughs> it's just that any source I had disappeared. And yeah. down there, uh -huh. I didn't. I just didn't go looking for it. You know, and I yeah. just stopped. I stopped at the. Uh, I stopped at the Florida border. It was yeah. the last toot I had, and then that was it. Did, and then a couple of I, years, what? Did you drive from California to Florida? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I, uh, uh, but I, but I, you know, I, I quit, uh, and then a couple of years later uh, on a New Year's Eve, I decided ah, I'll get some coke and do it because if I haven't done it in years, it's gonna be it's gonna be great, it's gonna be terrific, it's gonna I'm gonna get that that zest that I used to get when I first started it, right? So no, what it was really like. No, I <laughs> got the coke, I did it, and I said, Jesus, this is like where I left off. Uh, you know, it didn't it didn't improve things. It wasn't like I suddenly got a great jolt and oh boy, I remember. Th no, it's like it's just you know, it's just a continuation. So after that, I didn't do any more. Now I don't even do pot. You know, Marjorie smokes it, yeah. but I don't. She blows it in my face occasionally, and then I you know I get edgy. I I don't like it. I I don't like uh, pot anymore. It just doesn't affect me right. That happens as we get older, you know. Does it really? Yeah. What's it like? I, I, get, what's some, it like getting older? I, I have some friends that are older and they still smoke it on a regular basis, but um, others, you know, you just kind of lose the desire for it. You have other things that you do, and you know, you don't have the time in your life to to waste being high. Well, she also likes drinking wine too, so she's like got a double whammy going for her. Yeah, I've got. Next, a, be going to the church. Yeah, I've got a drug addict and a coke addict on my hands. A, 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 a booze addict on my hands. I'm just kidding. At least she doesn't smoke cigarettes. What? At least she doesn't smoke cigarettes. No, no. She right. used to. I don't really? think there's a habit she didn't do. You know, I mean, right. she was, she was, she's very habitual as a person. I mean, uh, she doesn't do anything in moderation. <clears throat> so it, it, it's nice that she does do her, you know, her, her grass in moderation. 
Yeah. But I use grass every night to put me to sleep. Ugh. Because I'm trying not to take pills to put me to sleep, although I might do one tonight just so I can get some good restful sleep. Oh, maybe that's where you get all the pollen from. Well, I don't know. I mean, this it, 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 it was uh, 8.2 today, which is medium high. And mm-hmm. they said yesterday it was going to go up to, what, 11.8, which is two tenths off of the top, okay? But it didn't go that high. And then tomorrow it's 5.8, and it's going to stay mm-hmm. low for the five-day forecast. Ladies and gentlemen, the five-day forecast. Let's let's go to the uh, five-day forecast here. Uh, we can uh, show people what the five-day forecast is. Here it is, folks. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Jesus, I, it's I, all I, over. <laughs> I, I push on screen and I get that. Okay, here we go. This is the um, look at that. See, it's going to be uh, eight point two tomorrow. Uh, that's eight, oh, it's eight point two tomorrow. Oh, God, it's not over yet. Oh, well. Uh, let me see here. Well, what did they say it was going to be? It, they said uh, tomorrow. Uh, oh, tomorrow. It, uh, uh, this is ridiculous. It's the same company, and they send me, they have two different uh, uh, things here. But this is Wednesday, 8.2. And then Thursday, it's 5.8, 5.6 on Friday, 6.8. So maybe we'll get some relief in there, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it it's it sucks. It just sucks, you know. So that's that's the weather forecast. That's the uh, 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 pollen forecast. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Jeff. You didn't go outside outside today. No. Uh, for me, it was eighty degrees. It was like Gee. summertime. Really, it was ninety-eight here. Yeah. Yeah. I was and, well. You're out. You're out in Contra Costa. It gets really hot out there. Yeah. yeah Ninety-nine in our valley. Yeah, I'm in Valley. Here it was only only got up into the 70s. <clears throat> here in New York. Yeah, I'm indoors. AC, I'm everything. My friend does drywall. He has a drywall company, mm-hmm. and so every day like today, I text him and say, "Oh my God, it's so cold in my office right now. I wish they would turn off the AC because I know he's outside today." <laughs> Big sun. <laughs> oh boy, drywall is up on ceilings and uh, you know on one of those machines oh, that. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So it, it's it's really it's you know pollen season is terrible here right now, uh, and Marjorie is like itching and eyes are tearing. My eyes are tearing. I have you can hear I'm a little hoarse. I get a little laryngitis from it. Uh, I'm breathing fine. <laughs> Could I do that if I had COVID? No. Um, Just take a carrot if you're a little. What? Have a carrot if you're a little horse. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Everybody, you want to laugh? Anybody? Anybody Bottom feel like laughing? Huh? Look at Bottom, them. Yeah. Look at them. It's like Mount Rushmore there, Phil. All right. Yeah. I don't care at all. Uh, yeah. No, don't give me a sound effect. Do not do that. I'll hang up on you. <laughs> I'll hang up on you if you do a sound effect. Do it, Phil. Do it. Let yeah. me hang up on you. <laughs> you're, you're tempting me. You're yeah. tempting me, huh? Yeah. Why? It'll be anyway. It doesn't matter. What? I, I got a request. You 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 have a request? Yeah, I wanna I wanna hear a song and dedicate it to a uh, little uh, little Jimmy. What oh. do you say? Huh? What do you say? I don't take no requests. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's my Alex. Yeah. No, I, I used to say that. People would call up and say, I'd like to request a song. And I go, I, I don't take no requests. And they finally put a big billboard in me that said, I don't take no requests. Yeah. 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 I was. On the side was of buses, huh? Too. It was on the side of buses, too. No, it wasn't. That wasn't on buses. That was only on a big, uh, big. Uh, it was on a building, on the side of a building, the whole side of a building of me pointing. It was a drawing of. Me pointing at the at my I, I finger. I had some custom T-shirts made for the th- uh, for the three of us. I, I gave mm-hmm. them your Susan and you and me mm-hmm. uh, 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 or an album, and it said, "I don't take no requests." Yeah, well, uh, uh, the the uh, that I don't take no requests. Uh, they 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 that they made this big giant. It was a big pain, and then they they did a uh, uh, they put out because I had such a negative personality. They put out a dartboard with my face on it. Well, you know why. And it was uh, that same drew- drawing that they used on the side of the building. 
uh, did you ever tell people why you didn't take requests? No. Oh. I don't uh, remember. It, uh, it At Camel, they, they used to uh, program the music. That was the name a, of the station, folks. Uh, yeah, that you had to uh, play certain songs within a certain color segment of the chart. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you were to take a request, you couldn't play something that was outside of that uh, 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 chart. And so you just couldn't take well, it. Well, the big, you know, I, the big uh, phony thing with radio stations was is they would say, we take, you know, uh, call, call in uh, to our studios and uh, request something, okay? And uh, then people would phone in and they would say, I want to request blah, 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 or I want to request blah, blah, blah. And we didn't do shit. But mm. eventually we were going to play that song anyway. So then they said, ah, they honored my request. And that was the <laughs> phoniness of request radio. WCA used to do requests. Yeah, and then and they, and they, they we, and we, sometimes they, we would play a record and say, "And ladies and gentlemen, this is by request." <laughs> oh no! They, and then everybody they, who called in with that thing went, "Oh, they they did my request." Yeah, yeah, they weren't reaching out to little Johnny. No, they weren't <laughs> reaching out to little Johnny. And I'm lightheaded today too. Uh. Alex, have, have you got? You know, you talk about pictures from your, like, Supper with Swartzman and all those. Yeah. Do you have those pictures, or are those in Petaluma still? I don't have pictures of them. Oh, I thought you said people had pictures, like, of your Supper with Swartzman. No, well, I have, all I have is audio, and I have it here. I, I, oh. In fact, we play it on the weekends a lot of them. Yeah, I remember Bob Geldof was there, the Boom, Boomtown Rats. I, he did I Don't Like Mondays when he sang that. I was really? Front I, don't, right, I, don't, right. I don't remember that. Yeah, I was front row, and uh, I used to go to all those, your Breakfast with Bennett's, and get the tickets, and get there like five in the morning in line, and see you, you guys you were, walk in. You, and, you were there a half hour earlier than I was. Yes, we were. <laughs> yes. I only went to the breakfasts with Bennett's that were the ones at the bagel place down off Chestnut Street, you know, after after the show. Yeah, well, we used that, to, oh, this, these were the shows we did, the live shows with... No. Comedians uh, and so I had pictures. I, never, I had pictures of Bob Geldof and I don't know who else. Man, I had those forever in a bag, and now I can't find the bag. Mm. Oh, because if you had the bag, you could send me the goddamn pictures. I know. I gotta find. I gotta look again. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so if I'm not here tomorrow, it's because I came down with the COVID. You know, I don't know how I would possibly come down with it. I haven't been out of this apartment in. Uh, <laughs> 75 days, 76 days, something like that, except for a couple of little short walks. Well, I, I went to a deli this afternoon yeah. to, to get a sandwich, and yeah. uh, the guy standing in front of me, he's wearing a mask. I'm wearing a mask. He turns around, takes off his mask, and sneezes this sneeze that went 40 feet. <laughs> oh, geez, sorry, I didn't realize anybody was there. I said, thanks a lot, you know. And, Actually, it's not a sneeze that will kill you. It's a cough. Uh, yeah, this was a sneeze. Yeah, sneezes are. Uh, you don't sneeze. You don't sneeze from COVID, right, Brian? I think the air droplets are still coming out. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the cough. But the, the sneeze too. Though, the well, with the sneeze, but but but, but yeah. you you don't have a sneeze. You don't sneeze constantly with COVID. It's oh it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, cough yeah. is no. the symptom, not the sneeze. Yeah. Right, 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 right. I just let it rip, you know. Yeah. So he is fine, Phil. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you well, know, he, about some other I, crimes. I, I worry he, about it. What? He was in the Italian deli, so that meant he was eating. So he may not have the COVID because he might not have an appetite if he had the COVID. Uh, so, you know, luckily he was getting a premium sandwich. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I uh, let me just turn up the air conditioning a little bit. I want, I want better. Um, let me see here. Fan up. There we go. And uh, te temperature up or uh, down. There we go. Yeah, come on. Cool me off. I feel like it's hot in here. Stuffy. Close. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, so um, uh, uh, let's see. Our, our governor was down in Washington with Donald Trump. Is he playing golf? <laughs> no. No, he went down there to, he's, he's been yelling and screaming about the fact that states are not getting funds from the government to take care of this situation. 
and they're va running out of money, and where they're going to have to make cutbacks in their states, in their various t states, is uh, with, um, uh, uh, you know, schools and hospitals and the police and the fire departments and all that. He's going to have to cut back 20%. You forgot to take away the food from little children. Yeah, no, but um, this is but this is true, Phil. So they, they throw this in is true, year. Phil. If they don't get an appropriation from the government, these states are going to have to cut back on the fire departments, police departments, hospitals, uh, teachers, schools, uh, all those things. They might have to cut back on the retirement program. No, Phil, Phil, oh, stop, stop, stop with, with, stop with that crap. We're talking about a very real thing. Where these and states need money. I'm sure they do. Yeah. They need it before COVID because they entered no, into these. No, 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 no. Phil, New York State was in fine shape money-wise. Yes, absolutely. In fact, the governor said that the other day. He said before this came along, uh, we mm. were very fiscally responsible. We had it all covered. You know, uh, he said, but because of the exceptional cost of all of this, he said, we need, we need help. He said, and we should be getting help because we help out all the other states the rest of the time. He said, we're, we give $56 billion a year to the federal government in taxes and take nothing back. Meanwhile, a state like uh, Kentucky takes uh, like $30 billion from the government. So that really what we're doing here in New York is we're paying for these other states to exist. Stop making so much money. Yeah, yeah. I, it's very funny, Phil. It's still, it's not great. I mean, what? It, you're, you're a policeman. You want to get, you want to get uh, fired because they, we can't afford you. I did it for free. Yeah, well, you did it for free, but that's because you were a rent a cop. But no, you know, I, I get paid to be rented. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, the point well, is that I'm, I'm just saying that it was, uh, it wasn't. Um, it, it, he, so he went down there to make this case. And what he said, he told Trump, he said, look, on most things, we disagree. He said, and uh, that disagreement is fine in a normal situation. This is a situation where we shouldn't have any disagreement. We should just get the job done. Do you know what the results were of the conversation? No, we don't know. We don't really don't know. Uh, I don't think Trump's going to do anything. I don't think he wants to help New York, and he should want to. It's his home. It's his home state. Not anymore. Well, not anymore. But I'm saying that you know. Um, uh, so I mean, uh, he just said. I just he said. I said to him, "This isn't a political thing. This isn't left or right, blue or red. Uh, this is America that needs I saving." Wonder what the outcome is going to be. Well, I don't think it's going to be very good. Uh, what do you think the outcome is going to be, Phil? Uh, I think that they're going to say that the money that they need uh, it can go to them, but it can't be spent on uh, other deficit and retirement issues. They, we I, aren't asking for that. Yes. We're not asking for that, Phil. Well, that is going to be, I believe, is going to be the... You, you make a big deal out of that, but that's not a big deal. Yes, the teachers do have good retirement plans. Uh, the post office has the best retirement plan. The trouble is that your Republicans put out a rule that the, that the, uh, the post office had to uh, put in the bank 75 years' worth of retirements for yep. the entire postal system. And yeah. because they had to do that, that's why the post office is, is, is having a hard time making ends meet. But that has nothing to do with New York. New York has been in good shape, you know. And, the, yes, the teachers do have a good retirement benefits, but it hasn't driven us broke. Well, uh, I'm, I can't You're argue talking, that. You can't where, argue with it because you don't have the facts to argue with it. No, I don't. Yeah. But, um, hey, uh, what happened today uh, with Twitter and Trump? What was the, uh, he, he was going to do some sort of... Um, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is it? What's, uh, it, what's executive it? order? He's, yeah. he's supposed to do some executive order tomorrow. Ridiculous. Uh, executive order about what? That I think that... Wait, that, that they wait and see. Yeah, he's threatening. He's he's, threatening. They, he can't do anything. It's, exactly. a private, it's a private it's a private company. It can do anything it wants to. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's just like everything else. 
It's his friend. It's his way to communicate with the world. It, it's and it's still they're it, disloyal to him, right? When somebody's disloyal to him, he cuts them off. But the thing is that he can't do anything about it. If it were a radio station or television station, he could because they're licensed by the government. But this is a private organization that runs what we could call a massive bulletin board that has restrictions, that has rules. And if you violate those rules, you get thrown off Twitter. And if it I did, wait a minute, yep. let me finish, Phil. If I did the kind of things that Trump did, especially in the last couple of days, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, Scarborough and that woman down there and the family who is still alive and grieving and hurt by this, these tweets, that if I did that sort of thing, I'd be thrown off Twitter in an instant. I think that he's talking about that if you're going to fact check him, you've got to fact check others. And uh, and he's looking at it through. The if I were Twitter, and and, and 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 I think Twitter should do it, I would throw. I would deny Donald Trump access to Twitter. Uh, yes, we'll absolutely, absolutely. They will. I you know I I don't know what Trump's uh, uh, punch is going to be uh, to Twitter, and I don't know what Twitter's going to do in reaction to. Uh, Twitter could do whatever it wants to do. It could just say, hey, no more Trump. You're, you just don't have an account with us anymore. Mm -hmm. Put him in Twitter, Twitter jail for a week. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'd like to see what happens. No, but I'm saying that it, it, it may happen. We're, yeah. having, we're having some problems tonight. Wow. There are two people trying to get in, Rob Alfano and Kevin, and they both got kicked off. Here we go. There goes Rob yeah. again trying to get in. Hold on a second, Rob. I'll call you. Um, let me see here. Oh, wait, there's some kind of problem here. Uh, let me see here. Kevin. I got kicked uh, off the first time. Did you really? Yeah, I, there's, me some, too. there's something yeah. wrong tonight. Uh, Kevin. Okay, let me go to Kevin. Okay. Uh, add to call. Okay. And then Rob. There we go. I just pushed on Rob. Let's see if Rob comes in. <clears throat> Uh, are you there, Kevin? Rob? Anybody? Son of a bitch. Uh, Rob? Oh. Uh, let me call. Yeah, Kevin. Huh? KS is up there. Oh, there. There's Kevin. And now I'm gonna okay, uh, I'm gonna yeah. call Rob and see if it, if, if uh, there we go. Well, I missed call Rob Alfano. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, this is uh, oh, this is fun. Okay. There we go, Rob. There we go. What is it? No, we got Rob. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What was happening, Rob? I don't know. I tried like five times to get through. Yeah. yeah. Each time, yeah. it said call declined. Yeah, I've been That's having that problem what tonight. The first time. If I killed Skype and then I had you all call back, that probably stopped happening. But I'm not going to do that. So, <clears throat> you know. No, uh, let me down. see here. Let me get these people in here. Uh, let me see here, Kevin. Um, well, there's Rob. Okay, and then um, uh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. And he is Hog Rider. Let me see here, Hog Rider. There he is. Okay, and we got Kevin. There we. Go. Well, Kevin, are you there? Yep. Turn on your camera. All righty, I thought I did. Yeah, no, you didn't. And there you go. There you Psych. go. Yeah, there it is. Oh, now Ray Renati's trying to call in. Let's see what happens when I try to get Ray Renati. Really? Well, Ray Renati comes right in. Oh, son of a bitch. You know? Hello. Oh, boy. Uh, turn turn off your mic because... Uh, you, yeah. You, you know. It's really nice out here. Just... Yeah, I know. Yeah. We can hear the birds tweeting, uh, yeah. which is really nice. But uh, let me see here. There we go. Um, um, let me see here. Number. Let's see here. We got to get rid of that. And uh, seven. I got to put in um, uh, Goomba. Whatever. Uh, Goomba sixty one. Okay. There we go. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Let me do that. There we go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Where is that? It's out near you, right? Alto. Hmm. Uh, Palo Alto, Baylands. Baylands, okay. Yeah. All righty. That East Palo Alto? 
Uh, East Palo Alto is right over there. Oh. Like 200 meters. Oh. Yeah. 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 Isn't that Don't nice? Don't walk that far. Yeah. But anyway, so, so Cuomo went to uh, meet with Trump today, and we'll see what happens. I mean, one of the reasons he is empowered to talk to him about this is because he is the, uh, he is the vice president of the Governors Association. Uh, and a, gov a lot of governors are complaining, you know, that they're not, they're, they're, that the, uh, there have been people in the government who were saying, oh, we don't want to give any relief to blue states. I mean, what is, what is that? You know? I mean, how cruel and horrible is that? Simply because people don't agree with you politically, they should uh, die at a higher rate? That's why this country's going down the tubes. And oh, it, it will continue to go down the tubes. Oh, it's it's in bad shape, and oh, you got you got a president who's too stupid to understand that if uh, if he doesn't start doing something to get people to stop uh, 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 what we would call dangerous behavior, that the people who are most at risk are his voters. You know, uh, it's going to come to violence, terrible violence. This country is going to go down, down, down. I wouldn't give, I, I, no, I don't even want to say it, the hell with it. Go ahead, say it. No, I don't want to say oh, it. Oh, come on, say I, it. I, I say it to my wife all the time, and, <coughs> and uh, I, it's just not a nice thing. It's just not a nice thing, I don't want to say it. Uh, the sky is falling. The sky isn't falling. This country is, you know, every, Rome crashed and burned, right? Yeah. This country has seen its best days. I don't give a plug nickel for the lives of any kid growing up today. I would not want to be growing up today. This country is going, it's not going to be better for them, never going to be better for them. They're going to fight for jobs because they're, that is not has nothing to do with the country. That has to do with progress. It has to do with technology. They're going to have trouble making a living. And unless the government decides that they're going to have a national income or something. How are people, you can't pay taxes if you don't earn a living. You're not going to be able to drive a truck. You're not going to be able to, you're going to be a carpenter. You're going to be, uh, you know, a plumber. You're going to be an electrician, maybe. You're going to be a ca carpet installer. You didn't support Andrew Yang, uh, who's who said everything that you're saying. I, I, I didn't I mean I didn't support him. Well, you uh, you didn't f uh, feel that he was a good presidential candidate. His whole platform was based on a uh, universal income. Be uh, I thought he presented it uh, poorly, but... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have all the answers. I don't know that universal income is the right answer. I'm just saying that if I watch all the kids running in the street, and they're playing, and they're having fun, and they're on their hoverboards, and they're on, they have all these cool gadgets and electronics. Life for them is going to blow simple enough because this shit is not going to get any better and politics is getting worse and i don't care what side and i'm not talking about republicans here i'm talking about the american system isn't bad isn't a bad way and if people don't come together and and think that maybe we need to talk things through and i have to give and you have to give and we can come to some sort of middle ground somewhere and th that's the problem you've got trump on one side who's a nut and you've got bernie sanders on the other side who's a nut i don't care what you say we there's no room in our government for extreme politics there's just not we need people who will come together and come up with solutions or we have no chance well in cuomo this said it I'm today sorry. he said we are the united states of america and that's the way we should be mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're not going to give money to the blue states, well, you know what? The blue states aren't going to be able to pay in to the federal government. That's right. So, you know, it all. <laughs> Last 200 years, 260 years that every generation said this about the next generation. No, no, no. Uh, my no. my no. father's generation didn't say this. Yeah. Okay. After, so, after well, World War II, we actually felt this country was on an upswing and that we, we, we were going to do great stuff, and there was a very positive feeling in this country, and you had a whole burgeoning middle class. No, Phil, my parents never said it's getting so bad, uh, it's going to be terrible for you, kid. You know? They, I, I, just I, the opposite. 
I remember I, my father saying I couldn't get two cents to go buy a baseball. He grew up, uh, he was born in 1926. He grew up as a kid during the Depression, right? And he said, oh, boy, I, I, I never had what you have. And, you know, and every generation has gotten progressively more and better. And that's done. It's just done. It's been brewing for 50 or 60 years. Well, yeah, since, since y Reagan. Y you know, yeah. uh, y yes, yes. Um, but, you know, I, I always had a theory, you know, that the world can only get better as it ages because it, it learns lessons and it becomes more refined. But the apparently, apparently is, my theory was full of shit. Well, the problem with what you're saying is, is that people have a short span. People, don't, people alive today don't have any clue about the Holocaust. They only know what they hear. It's ancient history. Things, if you don't know history, you're doomed to repeat it. You have, how many times have we heard that? Right. It's the truth. Right. I, see, I, I looked at today, for instance, and said, even though they did, the shuttle didn't take off, I looked at that and said, isn't this unbelievably wonderful that you have private enterprise working with government and NASA, and they're going to put a, a private company is going to put a shuttle in space and go up to the space station. You know, I, I just looked at that and I said that that's the what's wonderful about the future. And I looked at the future <laughs> and I saw a positive thing. I didn't see a negative thing. You picked out the one positive thing. Okay, that, I'll, I'll right. grant you that. All right, well, I'm not going to disagree with you on that. I'm not so sure that's positive. And, and then even uh, uh, what's his name, uh, who uh, Musk, uh, he digging this tunnel, and uh, and and he's is working with magnetic things that will move. Phil, it. Phil, he stopped building that. No, no, no. He's still he's no. Still he stopped building it, Phil. Uh, well, I, I I heard a couple days it's ago they that built he, about it, a mile of it or something like that as a test. It's yeah, it's experimental. Well, that's that's it. But it's, we, said, it, we had a. Could you imagine what it would think about the 1800s? My great grandfather worked on digging the subway tunnels in New York City when he came here from Italy. Yeah. Could you imagine today? We, we can't get people together to to agree on anything. We would not have any society. We wouldn't have anything built because we can't we can't get out of our own ways anymore to do anything and and and. And, and, and come together to make a decision to fund anything, to do anything. Nobody wants to pay for anything. We can't get together to fix our bridges and our tunnels. It's, uh, everything is political today. By the way, it's Scott. It's not about what's yeah. doing the best thing for people. To vote those people out. By the way, Scott Boddicker says, Ray is making me seasick. <laughs> Needs a steady cam. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want me to? You want me to turn it off? I can. Yeah. I can hang up. No, no. Just point it at yourself. Well, well. I mean, it 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 is a little uh, annoying. I'll just hang it up. I'll it it was up. it was nice when we it. first saw it, but and if you show us a scene or something like that, but I'll just hang up and listen. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. All right. iPhone 11, so he has that steady cam built into it. Yeah, it's built well, in. Well, some people can't afford those things, Phil. Yeah. Oh, Ray is rich. Yeah, Ray, Ray is very wealthy, very wealthy. Very. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to see him go, but I was starting to think that it was getting me a little nauseous, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, anyway, I'm, so I'm, uh, you know, I, I agree with you, Rob. I mean, I think that, that things are, you know, I talk to people who are somewhat have been optimistic in the past uh, with with people, you know, with what uh, uh, Phil would like to think people should think. And I know now those same very positive people are very negative about it. I was talking to Shecky yesterday, and he said, uh, I don't give much hope for this country anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and it's both sides. It's not just the Republicans. You gotta, if you really look at this. I disagree. Oh, no, well, let me, let me give you a for instance here. Right. And, and, you know, this the, all the bills that they're coming up with to for the aid for, you know, the coronavirus, mm -hmm. the the Demo the Republicans are stopping them because they're putting in all this other pork crap. Right. Right. Just pass the money that you need. Don't squeeze shit in and make it political. 
It doesn't have to be that way. You need the line item veto. If you had it the doesn't line. matter. He'd veto anything the Democrats said. The Republicans don't want to. Don Banner is the one that said that, that, that compromise is a four letter word. The Republicans refuse to compromise on shit. John Boehner's gone. Yeah, but his, his legacy lives on. The yeah. Republicans aren't acting any differently. Look at McConnell. I'm just not I'm just not ready to blame just one side. It takes two I'm sorry, sides. The Democrats that never refuse to to, to to vote on a on a judge that the, the Republican president uh, oh, ever okay, nominated. But never have done that. Only the Republicans have done that. So I'm what, not ready to accept loss and 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 loser breath. Uh, I believe that the But uh, you see you're putting you're putting it into win, right, women. Phil, head. Phil, you're putting it into winning and losing. Yes. Well, that's I, bullshit. It's, that's it's, what's it's, causing the what? problems, Phil, is this whole winning-losing mentality. The president won't wear a mask because he's afraid of what the press will say. Losing. This country wasn't built by losers. It was built by people with vision. Oh, sure. and, and oh no. Design. No, it was built by people who were raping other people. Yes. No. no. People well, you know, I don't agree with that principle either yeah. because every land, every country, it was taken from somebody else. And you can't you can't cry over the history. It is what it is. What happened happened. So, you know, to, I don't look at it that way that, you know, oh well, well we took the land from somebody. Else. Well, so did every other freaking country. So Anderson been Cooper fighting for land since people have been on it. Wait a minute, what does Anderson Cooper have to do with anything, Phil? Well, ripped off this country because they didn't pay taxes. The Vanderbilts, uh, oh, and Phil, oh, God. God. but they oh, built Phil. To begin with, to begin with, with to begin with, Cooper. To begin with, Donald Trump didn't rip off this. And so country. Anderson it's Cooper the is at House. fault for what we have going wrong with us today. Yeah. Boy, Phil, yeah. I never heard anything more stupid by anybody on this program than what you just said. Uh, you, you, you know, you hear a lot of stupid stuff, but you just agree with it. <sighs> Is that your comeback? Yeah. Is that the best you got? I, 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 you didn't feel good. I don't want to go for the throat. All I'm <laughs> saying is, is that uh, I think you, you've got Gloria Vanderbilt, who uh, only inherited the money. She didn't rape anybody for it, and she left none of it to Anderson and, Cooper. And, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. How did how did they get it? They they got it by exploiting the working man. How did the Trumps get their money? Yeah. Uh, by renting apartments. Oh, I mean the white people. Work working man. To white people. Hey, you want to divide? Uh, <laughs> white people got to live somewhere, too. So do black people, especially the ones who could yeah, afford a place. He was famously known for not wanting to rent to black people or people of color. His father, you know. Him, too. Uh, uh, did anybody see any more information? I, I, on I, just, find, I, I, I just find it amazing I, that Phil uh, can can support a morally bankrupt human being like Donald Trump. Uh, I agree. He's a moral abyss. I think you're just being influenced by... No, CNN. I'm not being influenced by, by his, Phil, his whole his moral purpose. morality, the way he treats women, you know, the way he treats them as objects. I find that upsetting just in and of itself. So how could you also, uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, uh, give you this stuff, but, you know, with Biden, is he any better? Oh, much better. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Much better. Oh, much better. Biden has... Democrats have never denied aid to any red states. They're, like they're, Trump wants to deny to the blue states. The, uh, uh, with Biden, his Secret Service uh, uh, came out with a book, and they said that they had to keep the woman Secret Service agents and the wives of Secret Service agents away from Biden because he would, you know, go and touch them. Uh, you know, uh, so they, they had... They so, had and to you believe that. You believe it's funny, you, though. You I, believe I, I have a problem with you making this argument because we have the president in his own words saying what he's done and what... And, and that doesn't bother you, but... It was in 2003. Now, if... But, you see, the thing is, you would vote for a guy... And say that uh, that Trump is morally bankrupt, you would say Phil, that Biden. I'm not. Okay. I'm. Uh, how do you know I'm voting for Biden? 
I didn't say you were voting for Biden. Well, you said, said you're, you're voting for a guy. Said you 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 wouldn't support a guy, which you say is morally bankrupt, but you support Biden. I didn't say you were voting for him. Well, I, but I didn't say I was supporting Biden. So how can you say? But you're supporting Biden. Are you going to vote for Biden? I, I, if I if if he is the only choice I have besides Trump, yes. Okay. You know, because I I, I don't care what his problems were. Uh, he is not as morally bankrupt as that human being. Oh, so got he, a long way to go to catch Trump. And, and, uh, he, he, yeah, he, he, if we're going to have a race about who's the most morally bankrupt, I'm sorry, Trump, it's the only thing he can become wealthy from, okay? It's the only, he's not morally, he's morally bankrupt, but he's got the money to back it up. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm out of it tonight. But anyway, the point I'm making is, Phil, um, don't try to hold Biden's morality up against Trump's, because when it comes to moral bankruptcy, nobody beats Trump. Well, I, I think that they're getting out more of uh, the Biden stuff. And, you know, what Biden stuff? Come on, give me some Biden stuff. I have some pictures of the way he sniffs the hair of kids. Uh, you know, I mean... They, that's, you can't complain, compare sniffing the hair to grabbing by the pussy. I'm sorry. You cannot compare those two things. Grab them by the pussy. He said. I he, don't think Joe Biden ever cheated on his wife with a porn I said star. He grabbed them by the pussy. I don't think he ever cheated on his wife with a porn star. Well, you know, he went to the hooker. You know, I mean, he paid her. Oh, wait a minute. She's not a hooker. She was a porn star, Phil. There's a difference. It's just the price that they had. No, to no, there no. There were a couple. There were a couple. Well, I, I would have hit on uh, that Playboy bunny, too. Yeah. Oh, that's another case. The, that, the, that's yeah, the yeah. other Trump. Like Dougal. Um, uh, Dougal. It was unrequited love. Yeah. Yeah, but being married doesn't matter to you? Married, it didn't matter to him. It matters to me. Wow. Well, okay. So then you do have so some So why, why can't it's, you it's say, I'm sorry, doesn't. I can't be with Trump because of the way he treated his wives? I can't. Uh, well, his wife seemed to like him, but... You know, I can't like his money for something that I wouldn't do. I don't do it. So, but you know, if he feels that that's uh, a, you know the way he wants to live his life, I'm not going to foster my uh, Faust my morals on somebody else. So you didn't have a problem oh. with Bill Clinton getting a blowjob? Mm, it, uh, oh, it, here we it, go, <laughs> Phil. Take advantage of a very young. Uh, impressionable girl and Phil, Phil, uh, Phil, Jimmy. Phil, she took advantage of him too. Uh, come on, she was what? She 18? took advantage of him too. I mean, you yeah, know, here's a, here's a, here's a middle aged guy. He's uh, going through his middle age, mid age, cri middle life crisis. Here comes the intern. She's hot for the guy. She took advantage of the situation too. And I'm sure if I had her here and we discussed it, she'd say, Yeah, I did. You know, I, I, I can't imagine being with a 24 year old. Well, I can't imagine you being with a 24 year old when you were 22. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, I, I mean, you know, I look at 24 year olds today and they, they look like kids. You know, they, they look like my daughter. Hey, I'll tell you, if I were Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky came on to me, I'd probably take her up on it. OK. You know. It's good to be the king. It's good to be the king. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, I, you know, I, I'm just saying that, that you have a morally bankrupt uh, president. You have a man who has completely let the American public down in a time of real need, which is right now. Uh, and, and, and you can't tell me that he's done anything to solve this situation. I think he's done a lot to solve Like it. what? Name one thing. Well, he has uh, kept the United States afloat by uh, giving uh, money and support to businesses so that they could come out of this mess. He's, businesses, uh, businesses, he's, Phil. But you know who the major people are who don't have money right now because of this? People. People. Yeah. And we're giving money to businesses who are then going to turn around and come this Christmas, use that money for bonuses, and in the meantime, lay off people saying we're downsizing. That they can't. They have to. Put yeah, that no, they can, no, Phil. They, they did it the no, last time. No, they don't. In fact, that's what Cuomo's trying to get passed as a law, is that if we gave you money, 
when we get back into business, you can't let go of any of your people. You have to bring back the full force. Yeah. Because that, that law does not exist right now, Phil. Just and don't course. say it does. It doesn't. They won't forgive the loan if you don't have the same amount of people on your payroll uh, at the Phil, end of Phil, that's June. for your little small dinky business. We're talking about the billions given away to airlines and so on. Yeah. If you want to not have an airline, you want to you want to have a state run. Airline? Hey, if that airline, if if, if, oh, if I got a if question that, for you, Phil. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Rob. Just what you said. You wanted it. You want to have an airline, right? Yeah. Let's go back to 2008 when when Obama bailed out the car companies. You weren't saying that, were you? Well, I didn't want uh, GM. You didn't want an, a Democrat out of business. But you uh, didn't want them to bail them out. No, that's, that's not true. Because that's I, what most Republicans... It may be most Republicans, but it wasn't me, because as far as I was concerned, you had a, thousands and thousands of jobs and an industry that this country depends on. Absolutely. And, and you couldn't let that go down the tubes. Absolutely. But he, he was lambasted by the, the, the right saying that you that's shouldn't yeah. be bailing out the car companies. That's what happens w with politics, and that's why we need to vote these people out of here and get a whole new crop of people that aren't uh, bought by lobbyists. Did you ever see the show Des uh, Designated Survivor? No. It's a show Kiefer Sutherland, Sutherland plays a, a guy who was the designate, you know, when there's a, a big event at the Capitol and yeah. like, like a State of the Union, they designate one person from the government to stay home, COVID. not be in the building just in case it gets bombed. Yeah. Well, that happened. Yeah. And Kiefer Sutherland became the president from this guy who was a lowly nothing, really. And that's what we need to have happen in this country, I think. We need to start fresh. Well, because it's November. If you don't like this guy, vote Good for luck. someone else. But whoever gets voted in, we should support and let him run the country because he got elected. That's uh, well, that's not that's not what the Republicans said when when uh, when Obama. Well, got I'll tell you something, Phil. When he starts running this country, I'll listen to what you have to say. He has been completely remiss in running this country, especially at the one time when he had to show what he could do. He has I, failed I this country. Know. What he, you didn't let me finish because what he did was he took off all those restrictions on being able to get Phil, a vaccine. Phil, I don't agree with these Phil, vaccines. Phil, I think Phil, Phil, on, he um, did it way too late. He didn't lead. He simply followed. The whole world. He didn't was, lead, Phil. He followed. Uh, that's not true because the whole world was Phil, in the same situation. Phil, you know, there were several, there were people like Cuomo who were out, out in front of this, and he simply came along and grabbed what they were saying and tried to do it. But the thing is, you see, there's a trouble, there's one problem that uh, this, uh, this asshole has. And that is, and there's an old saying that I have, which is, if you can't be sincere, at least fake it. He can't mm -hmm. even fake being sincere. <laughs> he yet. doesn't have one single ounce of empathy in him. Because he doesn't have to fake stuff. He Phil, can be he doesn't stuff. have one... We to him, scintilla to of empathy in him. Well, when he reads those speeches about how sad he is about the dead Americans who died from COVID, I don't believe it. I so just feel he's the, reading it. No, you, so you want to shoot the messenger? You no, just don't like, no, Phil. You, he has no empathy. You don't like the way he delivers he, no, the words. No, he has no he empathy. Deliver. You don't care. He, wait, wait, let, let Brian today. talk, <clears throat> Phil. What? He didn't deliver the word today. He did not deliver the word today. The word today was 100,000. He didn't say anything about that today. No. 100,000 Americans dead. He didn't mention that at all today. Yeah. That was the word of the day. Brian, the, you know, they pay $37,000 for every COVID death. So they're marking a lot of deaths as COVID but that are... It doesn't matter. It doesn't that matter. That is complete yeah. bullshit, Phil. Car that is, is COVID. bullshit. It, but it doesn't matter. Sorry. People are dying. Let me, let, me you, let me give you let me give you an example of of, of of showing your empathy. Our governor <laughs> yesterday, or I think it was yesterday, announced that all the essential workers who have died of COVID COVID 
will get a benefit, a death benefit, and it's a rather large death benefit. The president has not ordered any such thing in this country, and he could do it by his so-called executive order. But you know... But he doesn't uh, have empathy. He doesn't have an ounce of empathy in his system. You should donate to the Stephen Stiller Tunnel. Oh, tower. fuck Stephen Stiller and his tower to wherever the Burma thing you got. No, fuck the Stephen Stiller thing. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about, Phil. Exactly what you're talking about. No. Does it through private money? Phil, the government should give a death benefit to those workers who went into the hospitals, went out to the, worked the, uh, the ambulances, that worked the police uh, stations, that worked the fire uh, departments, and died because they were out there doing the work and caught the COVID virus and died of it. The president should order a death benefit for every single one of those people in this country. Yeah. And you have proof that they, they're not getting a death they benefit? They aren't getting it. No, there is no special death You'd benefit. You'd read about it. If it happened, you yeah. would know about it. Yeah. And those people were using garbage bags, and they were using whatever they could, diapers, whatever they could for PPE when, when all this first started. And those are the guys who got infected pretty quick. Now, Kevin uh, had something on his uh, that he sent that uh, about Obama not re uh, replenishing the PPE, uh, the N95 masks, and all of those things. Did, did you remember you sent that to me, Kevin? Uh, that he didn't re uh, replenish the stockpile. I don't give a shit what what yeah. Obama did and didn't do. Trump is president of the United States now. He's had okay. three years to replenish it. He ain't done shit. Yeah. Uh. I didn't send that to him. You know, not, I mean, this, uh, I, this constant referencing months. to Obama and Obama did this and Obama did that. Yes, Obama did a lot of things that weren't exactly right. But he certainly gave it his best shot. And when he left the office, he left uh, the president, he left Trump with a playbook on a pandemic, which he promptly dismissed and threw out. Phil's not even and listening. One of, the, and one of the big things, like any other private company like we are, <clears throat> when we're trying to cut costs, if we have swabs coming from China, we're going to get that swab from China. You know, if it's the same swab that we make here, and there's no benefit for any manufacturing companies to make any kind of medical devices or any kind of medical help for us, that everybody's going to go to China. Mm -hmm. uh yeah, and right above that is another thing that I got from Kevin that said Newsom's secret of one billion dollar mass deal with Chinese automaker. Phil, we're not talking about Gavin Newsom. We're not even talking about Murray, uh, Andrew Cuomo. We're talking about Donald Trump and the fact that he has been absent from this whole thing. Uh, I, I don't. I don't agree with you. I well, think you, you don't agree with me, and I don't give a crap that you don't agree with me because he has been absent, and the American public feels he's been absent. They don't. Feel, they feel a complete lack of leadership in this area. Well, and we'll and all you have November. to do is look at the polls, Phil. Well, he in November. I don't trust the polls. Uh, yeah, in November we'll see. As long as they don't manufacture too many phony mail-in ballots. Oh, oh, you're going to buy that one, too. You know, he always, do, Phil, the only, the only reason he's yeah. setting that straw dog up is so that when he loses, he exactly. can use that as an excuse for not leaving. Exactly. You sent those to me, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take my phone, too. I just, I just went back, and you sent those to me. I, I don't read USD today. Well, I don't know. You sent them to me earlier. Uh, let me look at what date it was. May 7th? Yeah, somewhere around there. You sent them to me. I sent them Because I usually ignore them. I didn't respond to it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Die. <laughs> you see what I get you for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> no, I read them. But if it's, if it's something silly like that, I won't respond to it. I'll just read it. I don't even read them. I yeah. do. I, I, you know, he sends me videos and stuff, and I just say to myself, oh, well, maybe it's like it's not Phil, it's somebody else, and I don't want to open that up. That's true, yeah. Sometimes I look at it and go, oh, this must be, this couldn't be Phil. Uh, on yeah. a brighter note, uh, you know, stop, <laughs> no, Phil, uh, Rob, do you have a uh, big picture of your new logo? I do. It's the same logo that you saw, only it's got the um, 
the slogan on the bottom of it and the website. Yeah. It's the white one. The, the rock looked like crap. Yeah. And the station is now on the air, and uh, and it's also on radio.net. Do you know that you cannot get the state? You can't get any radio stations on TuneIn anymore. They don't take stations anymore. They don't take actual radio stations any longer. No. Yep. They turn. I mean, we said they no longer accept. We're on. We've been we've been on TuneIn tune in for what a couple of years now. You're Maybe a partner. More, yeah. We, no, we you worked. were a partner. They took the partner away. Send yeah. yeah. me the link, Rob. It's uh, retrorocks.net. Okay. Yeah. There's a player on the site and also radio.net. You can get a play, you can get an app for your phone, either uh, Android or iOS, and the station is available on did, there as well. Did you, uh, did, uh, uh, did you, um, um, uh, at retrorock.net, was there retrorocks.com? Uh, there was uh, retrorocks.com. Yeah. I wasn't available. The reason I took gabnet.net, which turned out to be wonderful because it just scans very nicely, was because there's a gabnet.com that's down in, like, I don't know, Brazil. Maybe the guy's dead by now. Uh, <laughs> if he renewed his, uh, his thing. But you don't need to spend any more money on anything. You got the .net. It works. Leave well, it alone. works great. Oh, um, listen, I'm waiting for somebody to try and buy it. Dot. You know, it's a very good name. Yeah. I'm happy with the dot net. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you did, uh, you did, uh, you can say, uh, you know, device, Alexa device, um, play Gabnet, right? Yeah, I can say um, uh, play Great American, uh, what is it, uh, name of Alexa, play Great American Broadcast Network. Did you set that up yourself or did you have somebody do that uh, for uh, you? No, I, I, I set it up so that my, uh, my, Echo. I, I can't say the. Yeah. You just made, you just uh, made my Alexa go off. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, so, so that um, um, it, 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 it plays, uh, what do you call it? Tune in. There's a, there's a tune in link that you can use so that you can ask for almost any tune in station. Oh, that's because it's for tune in. I, I can't yeah. do that unless I get someone to program it for well, me. Well, if you're on tune in, you could. Which, yeah, I'm not. Uh, and uh, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's how I do it. You know, uh, I, you know, I, I, uh, by the way, I just uh, I, the, today was the first day of HBO Max. How was it? It's it's a lot. It's every it's like Warner went into their basement and got out all the tapes yeah. <laughs> and decided to throw them online. I mean, there are a lot of movies. There are a couple of hundred Warner Brothers cartoons from the yeah. old days and some new ones that they've done. Um, a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows. Uh, 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 the last 11 years of Doctor Who. Uh, a lot of things like that. It's, um, it's not terrible. It's not costing me anything more than I'm paying already for HBO. So what the hell? Why shouldn't I do it? You know? So, But anyway... Uh, so we'll, we'll, we, we've decided that uh, we do we all agree except for Phil that uh, uh, Trump is morally bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, time liar. But he's not the problem. We're the problem. That's right. And we've got to do some. Taxes. We got to do something about it. We got a we got a chance to make things right, but I seriously doubt we will because we're incapable of that ourselves. Just like uh, Trump is incapable of empathy. We're incapable of good judgment when it comes to voting. Anyway, hey, listen, there it goes, folks. I made it through this hour. Um, feeling a little, little puny, but, uh, you know, I don't think I've got the COVID. Do I sound like I have the COVID, Brian? I wouldn't be like this right now if I were getting the COVID. I saw your temperature. It was, it was up there. Yeah. What? 98.3 or something? Yeah, well, 98.6 is normal. It's normal for regular people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, that's it, uh, everybody. Uh, that's the uh, citizen panel. Brian, thank you once again for calling. Uh, always nice to have you here. Uh, uh, Phil, hi. Uh, Charlie, good having you here. Jeff, as always, wonderful. Rob, you were spitting the nails tonight. And, of course, Kevin, uh, terrific. Hey, why didn't everybody wave goodbye? I'll wave goodbye back at you. 
and uh, we'll uh, we'll do the fade to me okay there we go and then I will hang up on all these people unceremoniously uh, because that's the only way I can do it I just killed the um, the whole thing there we go uh, listen uh, Jack uh, Bishop is next with the intersection uh, and he'll be here and want another citizen panel so why don't you plan to be part of it stick stay tuned stick around and uh, in any event we'll see you again tomorrow night same time same station in life and in the meantime if you see her tell her I love her okay bye bye everybody